What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you about the associative property of addition and multiplication. So basically the associative property just says that if you're adding or multiplying numbers together, the way you group them doesn't matter. You'll still get the same answer, okay? So first let's go over some addition problems. So let's start at the top here. Here I have three plus five plus 10. So if I grouped it, or in other words, if I put parentheses over these numbers right here, what would my answer be? Well, remember, according to the order of operations, whatever is in parentheses is where you start. That's what you do first, right? So here we would do the three plus five first. So three plus five is equal to eight, and then we'll bring down this plus 10 part down here, okay? So eight plus 10 is equal to 18. So that'd be your answer here. Now, what if I move my parentheses over here, right? I, again, I have three plus five plus 10, and this time I'm gonna put it over the five plus 10 part. Okay, well, again, start with the parentheses. So five plus 10 is equal to 15, right? And then we'll bring down this three plus part. So then three plus 15, again, is equal to 18. So as you can see, you get the same answer either way. So when you're just adding numbers together, it doesn't matter how you group it, right? You'll still get the same answer. So let's just try a couple more examples here. So here I have two plus four plus five plus three, all right. On this one, I'll put the parentheses over two plus four, and I'll also put some over five plus three, okay? So simplifying this, two plus four is equal to six, and five plus three is equal to eight, right? And then we'll bring down this plus sign right here in the middle. So six plus eight is equal to 14, okay? Now on this side, uh, let's just put the parentheses over the middle, right here, over the four plus five. Okay, so again, that's where I'll start, right? So four plus five is equal to nine, and then I'll bring down these other numbers. So two plus nine, and then this plus three. So two plus nine is equal to 11, and then 11 plus three is again equal to 14. Okay, so as you can see, still the same answer. And like I said, this also applies to negative numbers. So if we're adding positive and negative numbers, as long as the only thing we're doing here is addition, right? Like here, this is just, this is all addition, right? Then we can move our parentheses around. So on this first one, I'll put the parentheses around the five plus negative three. And on the second one, I'll put it around the negative three plus the 10, okay? So let's start with this first one. Five plus negative three is equal to positive two. Okay, and then we'll add this 10 right here. So two plus 10 is equal to 12. All right, and then on this side, we have negative three plus 10. Negative three plus 10 is equal to positive seven. And then we'll bring down this five plus part. So five plus seven is again equal to 12. So as you can see, again, same answer, right? So now I wanna show you how we can also apply this to multiplication. Okay, so if you're just multiplying numbers together, right, we're not mixing it up. We're not adding and multiplying. We're just multiplying here. Again, you can move your parentheses around. So if I put my parentheses around the two times three on this side, well, that's where I would start, right? So two times three is equal to six, and then we'll bring down this other times six part. So then six times six is equal to 36, okay? And on this one, if I moved my parentheses around the three times the six, well, three times six is equal to 18. And then you bring down this two times part. So two times 18 is also equal to 36. So we get the same answer either way, right? And again, if you use this with negative numbers, it still works the same way. So here, if I put parentheses around the negative two times five, well, this is where we would start, right? So negative two times five is equal to negative 10, right? Because two times five is equal to 10, and then a negative times a positive is a negative. And then we would just bring down this other part, so times negative four, right? Times negative four. So 10 times four is equal to 40, and a negative times a negative is a positive, right? So your answer here would be positive 40. So again, going to this other side, if I moved the parentheses to the five times negative four, well, five times four is 20, and then a positive times a negative is a negative, right? And then we'll bring down this part, the negative two times, so negative two times 
negative 20. So again, 2 times 20 is equal to 40, and a negative times a negative is a positive, okay? So you get positive 40 on this side also. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.